Visitable homes have a no-step entry, larger doorways and passageways on the main floor, and a larger bathroom on the main floor. Visitable homes are, from a construction standpoint, they're built on a term that we call on-grade, which means that there's no stairs at the front of the house, nor are there stairs that access from the garage to the house. There's large advantages to that, for that rather, with uh, people that have mobility issues, but also people that would perhaps have um, concerns about future mobility issues. And the fact that we do have the aging population, it's going to become a, a more front-of-mind uh, concern for more and more buyers as we go forward. Well, I think that uh, it could appeal to uh, the younger buyers and partly because there's an interest in that, uh, in that group in creating uh, or making ethical choices as far as what they're purchasing. So that uh, extends to the sustainability of reusing the housing stock. Uh, it extends to thinking uh, about creating an inclusive neighborhood. For uh, the older buyers, I think there's uh, the people there have a better sense in most cases that uh, there could be some mobility challenges in their future. They may be temporarily injured, they might be permanently uh, have some form of disability, that a visitable house will make their life a lot easier. You know what, your life is easier because, you know, for young families, like you've got a stroller or a bunch of kids or a wagon. I mean, it's just going to be easier to get in and out of the house. You know, you're carrying a bunch of groceries, you're not trucking up and down the steps. You know, just multi-generational families and even if you're just thinking about you want to stay in your home longer, like you don't want to move when you're 70 because you can't negotiate the stairs anymore, you want to stay in your house as long as possible. And it's just one of those things, it's just a no-brainer, you should absolutely do it. And not to be scared of it, there's nothing, you don't walk into our house and go, oh my, people in wheelchairs live here, it's just, it's a house and it works and like we don't even think about it most of the time, it's just everything's so much easier and it's a lot more flexible. We wanted a house that we could stay in, you know, and not you know, as long as possible and maybe, you know, not move when we're, you know, say 60, 70, um, just because we can't go up and down the stairs. Or if one of us gets injured again, building a house that had visitable features already designed into it, it just made a lot more sense. 